So here are 10 reasons why I switched from Nikon to Fuji. Just kidding. Um, I'm keeping my Nikon bodies, but I'm gonna tell you why I picked up this Fuji X-Pro3. So I've been shooting on Nikon for as long as I can remember. I started off with film cameras, um, kind of actually a similar body style to this. Um, but with what I do professionally, I needed really reliable autofocus, really good battery life, and I really care a lot about the ergonomics. I've owned Sony mirrorless cameras before, everything from like an A6000 up to an A7R2, and I just didn't like the way that it felt. So if you're like me and you kind of have an experience of liking the way that a camera feels in your hands, um, that's, that's exactly why I went Nikon. Just the design, like I really like the way that they look for one thing, and that's kind of what drew me to Fuji is the look of these cameras was really unique. Um, the back is kind of something that you don't really see anywhere else. You have this hidden screen where it feels analog and you actually have the benefits of a fully digital screen. And you've got this, this hybrid viewfinder that no other camera has. So outside of what I do commercially, I also do a lot of trekking and hiking. And so there's no way this one comes with me. Um, when I went to Everspace Camp, I took my D850 with a 24-70. I wanted something where I could, you know, if I needed to crop in, I could. So with, with 42 megapixels, you have that option. But it was still really heavy and bulky, and I found this would sit in my camera bag quite a lot. And then I would have my A7R2 around my neck, which wasn't ideal. Like, I just found, you know, I wasn't using it as much. And so I, I decided to give Fuji a try and see if it could be something that would be good for nature and landscape photography. So I'm not gonna get into the specs. I think you guys have seen all the other videos and there's so much you could read online, but having these three cameras here, probably a little bit unique of a set. And what I'm gonna talk about more is the feel and kind of just my experience in, in the field using them. The other night, my friend and I wanted to go see if we could catch some Northern Lights. And so we kind of just went on a whim and I grabbed these three cameras uh, with a different lens on my D5, which is actually on that camera right now, the 14 to 24. And I just wanted to see what it was like to use these three cameras in the field, you know, how I expected that, you know, I might be using a Fuji for. I was actually very surprised with the D5 and the uh, Fuji X-Pro3, uh, even though it was very foggy, I could focus. And the D850 was actually giving me some trouble, but this guy held up really well. Like, didn't feel like it was hunting at all. And, um, kind of held its own with the, with the D5. One of the reasons why I pulled the trigger on the Fuji is just their build quality is really at a high level. Even compared to a pro level, like really expensive D5, like the, the materials they use, the weather sealing in these cameras, I, I have a lot of confidence that even in poor conditions, I think they'll hold up really well. I recently bought this camera myself from Lennon Drugs. Um, the reason why is because I, I really appreciate that they're a local company, they're BC owned and they actually do a lot of good things. If you guys want to check it out, there's more information down below. Thanks again for watching. This is uh, pretty new to me, so I'm hoping to create more videos and any comments you guys can leave down below would be awesome. Feel free to check me out on Instagram at Julian Falk and subscribe. Thanks.